Like I said, I personally think that Vox fell off after Mazda tried to go after Crowder. Crowder may be an asshole, but he is an asshole who has a lawyer and the right amount of knowledge to say whatever he sees fit within free speech. He's never incited violence or called for action. Now, Mazda didn't like what he heard. He didn't like what he seen. He didn't like what Steven said to him. He didn't like the socialism for Figs t-shirts. He didn't like any of that shit. He wanted to go after Crowder because Crowder, every time Crowder went after him, he went right for Mazda's neck and he fucking won every time. I'm sorry. Now, Mazda found a lot of that offensive. So he tried to use Vox, a million dollar backed company, to go after little old Steven Crowder, Louder with Crowder, and Louder with Crowder won. Now, a lot of the arguments that Vox did have going for them a couple of years ago was the gender argument, the police brutality argument, the male, the male female argument, all that stuff. But seeing as how now that the pandemic's happened, we have all the protests, the elections coming up, a lot of these arguments are kind of moot. Not that they're not happening, but they're not happening as widely. At least that I've seen. Now, like I said, the founder, Matthew Inglesias, he's one of the one, he's the one that signed the uh, Harper's letter, and he's the one that is against cancel culture and all that, and now he's basically just getting himself fucking canceled. Essentially is what he's doing. And again here, CNBC also this reports again that Vox spoke uh, with the union leaders on Monday, and they, that's when they informed them to cut the staff. The people that were that that were t- talking to CNBC were asked not to be named because the discussions are private. Vox had already furloughed about 100 employees in April, or 9% of its staff, until July 31st, as COVID affected the advertising budgets. Many of the furloughed workers didn't take buyouts, and they will be laid off. So all these people that could have caught a buyout in April now will no longer have a job and won't have any money, and they'll be writing hate rage bait from their laptop probably in the front seat of their car unless they live in New York where they can't be evicted because they won't be able to pay rent. Vox finally reached profitability in 2019, which, fuck, man, that's got to suck to reach profitability and then think, oh, we're going to smash 2020 and then all of a sudden you're going to have to flounder and flutter and you're going to have to be giving up all kinds of employees. It's kind of wild. Cancel culture's a bitch, man. And when it comes for you, it comes for you. Just how it goes. And now you can stand up against it and you can fight it and you can you know, swing back as hard as you want in it, but that's, that's your choice if that's what you're going to do. That's how I look at that. Now, China, Trump signed an executive order basically going after China and saying if any one of them is involved with... It, it's, such a bride, it's such a broad executive order. I don't have it in front of me, so I can't break it down, but Tim Pool and them did on uh, his TimCast IRL tonight. It's dope-ass. Check it out. Check out that podcast. But he broke it down. And basically what it is, it's such a broad brush. You can, if It's somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that's working with somebody that's doing this with somebody for China, da 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 and it's against what America likes. No, nope, America's going to cut ties with that real quick. And that shit's crazy that people really don't like that. But China had to stop some rumors that their banks were going to fold and collapse because they had... People run into the banks to withdraw all of their monies. And it wasn't just like it was one or two or three people. It was a lot of people. So the police literally were arresting people that were pushing said rumors and locking them up and telling people that were at the banks, oh, no, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to pull out your money. The money will be fine. We're a solid bank. This, that, the other thing. That's, that's what they're saying. They're saying we're solid with it. We do this. We do that. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're, we're China Bank. We're good. We got the money. We're good. That's what they're saying, right? But here in Minnesota, there's a lot of stores that are saying they don't have any change. So you're going to have to pay with exact change or round it up. or And, you know, I don't know. that That's really weird because there's a lot of conspiracies that say they're trying to make this a cashless society. There's a lot of things that are connected. There's a lot of conspiracies that are this is the New World Order, that this is the end times, that this is revelations, that the rapture is coming. A whole lot of conspiracies. We might tap into some of those soon. Not today, not this episode. We're going to digress. China was saying that there is confidence in their $43 trillion banking system, but it is eroding among the nation's more than 1 billion account holders, threatening the cornerstone of China's rise to power as an economic powerhouse. Squashing the rumors, police in China put a stop to clients going to withdraw their monies. 
China's banks banded together in a statement saying that the branches are legitimate financial entities where any savings under 500 million yen are protected under China's deposit, deposit insurance regulation. They reassure depositors that their money is safe and urge them to not blindly withdraw savings. Police took into custody anyone spreading the rumors, according to the statement. Hing Shui, Hing Shua Bank said in an email reply on Wednesday that the city government is actively dealing with the issue and called for less publicity to, for the fear the incident spreads to regional systematic, regional systematic risks. It's just it's getting crazy out here. It's just getting crazy, man. China's really... China's really, I think, I think China's really put themselves in a fucking bind. And I don't think that they have a way out of it, and I don't think they should have a way out of it. That's my personal opinion. I don't have to, you don't have to like it, you don't have to agree. But it is what it is. You already know the deal, baby. We keep it a hundred. And on that note, what y'all think, man? What you think is going on in the world? You think it's all crazy? You think it's all nutty? What? Let me know. You already know. I'm going to leave my links in the in the description box. Box. Let me know what you think. Holla at your boy. Because you already know the deal, baby. It's Petrov, baby. And we out.